Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. All life. Let us moon gazed for about 10 minutes. Another light from nowhere. Me in the afterlife. That's someone that you lost. Someone who passed away in your life. Someone who's sick with diabetes. Okay? There's lights flashing, you can see them. One came from my stomach and one came from over there. Where is over there? It's infinite. There is no death, there is no life. So I'm a cashier. Most importantly, before that, I was a ballet dancer, got injured pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? Cadaver knee, ACL tear, third degree sprained ankles, tore the left rotator cuff several times, two surgeries failed. I tore this one, head trauma from being banged in the head, an abusive mother survived that. Racism survived that. Car accident, near-death experience, hit from behind. Car on smoke. Me, I was okay, survived that. And being hired and fired in an economy that is drowning in a debt-based system. And as a cashier, what am I noticing mostly? People are sick, right? They're eating foods that are legal poison. And diabetes is at an all-time high, man. I'm seeing people so sick, they're in wheelchairs. Because they're so big from eating, from trauma. There's no judgment here. It's from trauma. Do any of you out there, can you relate to that? So those spirits and these lights that are flowing randomly in my videos are dedicated to the suffering. Very simple. Mental health issues, sure. And which, which is ironic because you're, you know, <laughs> your medication side effects... Some of them, death, high blood pressure. Is it worth it? Even for uh, transgenders, right? Hormone therapy and testosterone. I know some personally where the doctors tell them, be careful how you smoke because it'll speed up your heart and could possibly cause a stroke, this medication. And they still take it. Your pelvis means a girdle and etymology. A pelvic girdle, etymology. Okay? Who wore, gir who wore girdles back in the day? Women. Okay? The dura mater of your brain, it's the hard mother of the brain in etymology. Gender, race battles, you're not any of those things. You're beyond gender and beyond race. Those lights that flow earlier in the video are showing you that. And they're encouraging me to show you all that you're not your body, your social media, your comments, whether they're good or bad. It doesn't matter. We're all going to leave this body one day. What are you leaving behind? Hare Krishna, thank you. Spirit, angel, yeah? That one pretty much came out of nowhere. And you can whoop, and that one just flew from nowhere. You see them? Take your time and process what you were looking at. I'm the first one, pretty much in history, to have a relationship with supernatural light. Now, how many things out there are about light? Bud light. Carol Ann, come into the light. Poltergeist, back in the 80s. Hmm. A lightweight boxing? Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to enlighten you. You know what Buddha means? Enlightened one. Not a nappy headed, fat or skinny in Asia and in India and in some statue and beads you're wearing around and doing mantras. No. B U D H A, Buddha in Sanskrit means Mercury. Look that up. It's astrology. Okay? And one just fell and descended. These are angels and demons combined together, showing you your real body. Now, what you're looking at in terms of the light mist, when you go into a movie theater, think about it. What made your body? You have a solar plexus, fact, in the anatomy, which is the solar system, the sunlight. Do you solar gaze? Do you know how to do that? And do you moon gaze? Do you know how to do that without blinking for 10 minutes? Your eyes water. What does the moon do? It pulls in the shore. It's pulling out your negative energy. Okay? And talk to it or rap to it. It's what I do. The sun and the moon. Not to humans. Y'all just down here, we can't figure it out. All right? I stopped eating animals. For sure. Out of respect. It's someone's child. Right? It's like someone eating your child. Or your pet dog. Or eating your pet cat. Or your fish if you like sushi. Do you, do you eat sushi? But you have a fish tank. These are good questions. You have a parrot, but you eat fried chicken. That's animalism. So I have chronic pain, which is why I'm loopy. But the chronic pain, listen to me carefully, is what's bringing me this power and this gift to show you the light. 
So for those who take these videos seriously and are open-minded and have seen ghosts, most of you have seen ghosts. Most of you have had invisible friends when you were children. Remember that? Before you could speak a language and write a comment or do anything, you were crapping yourself and pissing yourself, weren't you? And look at us today. We forget that. Okay, it's very simple co common sense. Once again, I'm grateful for this video. I'm grateful to TikTok for all the viral views. Once again, seriously, I've been in this game for a long time. And I don't mind being a dartboard. Dartboard meaning insults, right? We all have a head, two arms, and two legs, five elements, the five points of a pentagram or a pentagon. So when you point at me, you've got three fingers pointing back at you, don't you? So you're insulting yourself. And if I insult you, I'm also insulting myself. But I am not my body. I can't take credit for it because what made my sperm and what made your mouth and what made your hands to write comments to say whatever you feel. Because it's really cute right now that we have health. But when you get sick, for listen to me, when you get sick or when you have someone in your family who gets sick that you love or a friend or a loved one and they get sick and they need you to be conscious, are you ready for that moment? And for when you leave your body and when you might get sick, are you ready for that moment? Never mind your comments. Okay, check me out on YouTube, R-A-W space Z-E-N. All right? And my email is R-A-W-Z-E-N 617 at gmail.com. And my Facebook, J-H-E-R-U-S-S-E-L-L. -S -S -E -L -L. For those who are serious and want to really talk to help heal people who are who are dying. The number one killer, high blood pressure, diabetes, and legal poison known as fast food. Where are you at with your comments about that? Why don't you make fun of that? Because you got a grandma and a grandpa, I guarantee you, with diabetes. And it's not normal. Your immune system is immortal. Same word. William is Bill. Have a great day and night and life and afterlife.